Did you need something? I am unsure how useful I will be at this purity project, but I am happy to do whatever I can to help Dr. Lee. I have worked for Dr. Lee for many years. She has been good to me, helped me through some difficult times. I had little purpose in my life before she helped me. So now, I help her in return. I am no scientist, but I am good with machines. If Dr. Lee says it will work, then it will be so. Bye. Evening. Hello, son. I'm not trying to put you off, but we need to get to Project Purity. Anything else can wait until later. We can't accomplish anything until we can get inside, but none of us are particularly capable fighters. I hate to ask you to put yourself in harm's way, but you seem to have learned to handle yourself. I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. Be careful.
I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. In her place is my son, small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant, especially an infant without his mother. It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt, both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Madison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, she'll tolerate none of them. If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen? It breaks my heart to go. But I must put the needs of my child before my own.
It's Good evening, me. sir. What? Bring me all the music and news your little you have yourself a... Everyone ready for the Capital Wasteland's latest news? Me neither. That time again. By now, everyone knows the kid from Old 101 is a no good, selfish money group. But who knew he was keeping so busy? Looks like I've got a spot of good business for you, too. A big thank you goes out to the mysterious traveling from Old 101. self-obsessed super psychos called the antagonizer and the mechanist hey i couldn't make this shit up if i tried thanks for listening children this is three dog Ow! and you're listening to galaxy news radio we're radio free wasteland and we're here for you and now some music Hello. Hey, Tenpenny Tower is a wonderful place to live, isn't it? I know you. You're that guy. You know, the one that... whatever. Tunnels in the basement? No, can't say that I do. Hold it. I do remember something about a bunch of escape tunnels in case of disaster or something. Or something about generators for power. You should talk to that old guy. You know, the famous one with the radio show about him. You know, what's his name? Daring. Daring Dashwood, that's him. He's explored this whole place from top to bottom. Ask him about those tunnels, he'd know. You've heard the stories, I'm sure, about the mindless ones eating brains and the like. Well, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with all that. Really? Well, as long as they don't bother me, I guess I really don't care. What the hell? Sure. Cheers! Care to... Don't have any data in my files about that. Care. Hey. A very special welcome to you, sir. I have a... And what will our most distinguished guest be having today? Cheers. I know you. Yes?
Here we are again. Project Purity and me. It's been close to 20 years since my last entry, since I left all of this behind to make a life for my son. We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe, and that's all I could have hoped for. Now my son is a grown man, handsome, intelligent, confident, just like his old man. <laughs> And as hard as it was to admit it, he doesn't need his daddy anymore. So, here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. That will serve for now, but I'll need help powering up the mainframe. Time to visit Madison at Rivet City. I spoke with Dr. Lee, Madison, at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? He's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. And here I come again the very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine, God, I can't let this die. Not again, not like this. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please. I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> We'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. Are you all right? Is it safe in there? I'm proud of you. Now let's get in there. Yes? Yes. Some people are in such a hurry. 
Good to see you. Hello, son. Did you need something? Did you? What can I do for you? Yes. Hello, son. Is everything all right? Hey. Oh, great. Listen, I know who you are, okay? Far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here, so just stay out of my way. Unlike some people around here, I stuck with Dr. Lee through it all. I was the last one to leave when we finally gave up. Now your daddy shows up out of the blue and suddenly I have to drop everything to come back and help pick up the pieces. Sure, sure. No matter that he disappears for almost 20 years, leaving us all hanging, it's not like we have lives or anything. The hell do you care? You showed up here, what, five minutes ago, and now you're strutting around like you own the place? You shouldn't even be here. Why don't you go do whatever it is you're supposed to be doing and leave me alone? Not if you keep asking me stupid questions. Besides the fact that you shouldn't be here, don't touch anything you're not told to. There's enough to do around here without having to clean up after you. Just stay out of my way, okay? Yeah, what do you want? Hey there, I hear we have you to thank for getting us up and running again. Who, me? Oh, nothing special. I grew up in Rivet City and was always interested in what the scientists were doing there. Dr. Lee took me under her wing and taught me everything I know. Dan and I were out in the field when we got the call to come back. I don't see why not. Between Dr. Lee and your dad, we've got the best minds on the job. They can do just about anything. Yeah, I think we'll be up and running in no time. I'd steer clear of the water if I were you. It's seeping in from the tidal basin, which means it's radioactive. If that's not bad enough, if there are any loose wires as the power comes back on, you might get a bit of a jolt. Know what I mean? Be careful, okay? Is everything all right? Just be careful what you touch in here, okay? The equipment's old enough as it is. Dr. Lee has been waiting to come back here for 20 years, okay? 20. That's a long time. This is important. We can't afford to screw it up. What can I do for you? Yes? What can I do for you? Hello, son. Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. 
I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier, this is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then, and there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. In a word, no. Everyone else has specific tasks to complete as the power comes back online. Don't worry. I'll guide you along the way as best I can using the intercom system. You'll do fine. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred, so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. I've been hearing good things about you. Is it true? Did you really disarm the bomb and Megaton? I'm very proud of you, even though you put yourself in harm's way. Just please be careful out there. This is a dangerous world, far more dangerous than anyone in that vault knows. The flood control pumps, remember? Without those working, we can't restore power to the mainframe. I can use the intercom system to talk you through reaching them. Once you get the flood control pumps activated, that'll clear out some of the water and make it easier for us to see what else has gone wrong. How are you holding up? Need directions? You're in the security level. It's full of holding tanks for the water, as well as our processing equipment and power systems. The flood control pump is at the south end of this level. Keep up the good work, son. How are you holding up? Need directions? You're in what used to be the old museum and gift shop. A lot of the project's machinery is down there now. We just refer to it as the museum level. Keep heading down. There's a staircase at the south end of the level you're on. Good luck, son. You're doing great out there. Oh, great. Everything all right? I'll see you when you get back. Great work on the pumps. Hurry back, and I'll give you the fuses you'll need.
How are you holding up? Need direction? Come on back up to the main lab. I'll be waiting. Pumps are working, and some of the doors are opened. We're making progress. Problem is that the water shorted out a few key fuse boxes. Here, take these fuses and replace the ones that have burnt out. You need to replace the fuses that shorted out in the flooding. Once they're in, the automatic doors will work and we can reach the mainframe. How are you holding up? Need direction? I can't really say since I don't know where you are. Everything all right? With the fuses in place, you should be able to access the mainframe. No need to come back to the control room. Just head straight there. Everything all right? You're on the right level. Head to the western end and look for the large automated door. Everything all right? Everything all right? Well, we're done. It'll just be a few minutes until we can access the mainframe. Use the intercom so I can tell you where to go next. There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Jana says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom when you get there. Head up to the museum level. Use the door at the north end of the level you're on now. Hey there, bud. What's going on? Catch you around. You're doing great out there. Head towards the northeast end of that level. There's an intercom close to the grate you're looking for.
Good to see you. All right. You should be just outside the pipe that's been giving us trouble. Now don't worry. This isn't dangerous at all. Just get inside and use the manual controls to drain the pipe. That'll break up the debris enough for the filters to function properly. No, not at all. You'll just need to turn a valve. It'll only take a moment. Now I won't be able to contact you once you're in there. You'll exit near the systems, and then you can get in touch with me again.
Hey, we're looking for some slaves that ran off. Seen them? They can't have gone far. Okay, I'll bite. Here's 50 caps. Now, where are those damn runners? Take me for an easy mark, eh? Bad move. with me am I drunk sure oh that sounds bad what the hell I don't want to be a slave. I was just confused before. Take it off. I s Watch your manners. Hello. Evening. I can smell the stink of ghoul on you. You idiot, you don't make eulogy. I said hi.